Now in this video, we wanna discuss mindset and, and really how this relates to the building side. It's funny because a lot of times through our social media channels and even Clubhouse, the app, which makes sure if you're on Clubhouse, come give us a follow, search Brad Levitt, and we have a lot of discussions on there which are really informative and beneficial with amazing people in the industry um, in regard to construction. But really when it comes to mindset, you know, one of our philosophies that we started three years ago was that we're not gonna do a project unless the client hires a designer and architect, you know? And the whole purpose of that decision is so that when we go to break ground on the project, everything's been decided. That does not mean that the client can't make changes. I mean, this is a custom home. And even with all the decisions made, it's very common that we could have 100 changes, you know, throughout the course of the project. And, and that's okay, but the reality is we have a clear starting point. We have a clear understanding of the project, of the scope of the selections, which allows uh, cost savings for the client, allows cost securities for the client. And also for us as the builder, we can build more efficiently, quicker, and, and also within the range that we're, our, our goal is financially. So as you think about this, it's interesting because so many of the um, other builders said, Brad, you live in some la-la land. You know, this is impossible to make decisions. I've been doing this a long time. You can't have decisions done before you break ground. That's impossible. It's an impossible ask. And it's interesting because it's going back to the mindset. You think, okay, well, it, it doesn't matter where you are as a company. If you're doing a bathroom, or you're doing a kitchen, or you're doing a 10,000 square foot custom home. You know, these are all ranges, but there's no reason that you can't still have that same mindset, that same philosophy is this is our protocol and this is why you're gonna hire us. We're all, we all wanna win the job, we all wanna win the project, and we all wanna get moving as the client, you know, is excited to get the project going, but unless you have those key components decided, it's gonna delay the project, it's gonna delay the construction schedule in that bathroom remodel in the kitchen, which now, what, what good does that do? That's gonna frustrate the client, it's gonna frustrate us as the builder, and it's gonna cost us more money. Um, and the client, more aggravation. And so you think about that mindset that it's not looking at where your company is today. Uh, you know, there's other builders, you know, Nick with NS Builders, he and I discuss all the time that when we started our companies, he and I started roughly the same time or roughly the same mindset and company structure. So Nick and I, you know, we've always been marketing our company as not where we are today, but where we're gonna be next year and the year after. We had the experience individually, but as a company, we're still building that resume. And so the important thing is to not understand where we're at today, what project I have now, but where do I wanna be in three years, in five years? What kind of projects do I wanna be doing? Where's the clientele I wanna work with? Notwithstanding all that goal and mindset, what's really important is, okay, well, let's start the procedures now with our company structure so that as we grow, those are in place and you, everyone's following them and we understand that so that way it makes it easier. You think about the importance of bringing on the designer and it's really valuable to do that. Uh, designers are a huge resource to collaboration, the ally in the building process with the client, having someone that's on your side as you're working through expectations. You know, it's super key because all those selections made, we have a clear plan. Since when do you start building a house without any plans? It's no different than having the interior plans. You know, most of our designers are highly skilled interior architects, right? A lot of them have architectural backgrounds, so they understand the implementation. You know, when I look at a house, uh, you know, cabinet layout, right? It's gonna affect my lighting layout, it's gonna affect my ceiling treatments, it's gonna affect appliance locations, you know, and, and, and outlets and circuits that go into the kitchen element. So these are really important to have all this information so that we can move quickly, we can bid it right and cost control the project. So think about that mindset, think about today where you are as a company, how you can implement some of these um, SOPs, right? Your operating procedures, so in that way as you grow and, and you know where that vision is gonna take you, you'll be prepared for it.